the Dallas Cowboys got one of the most physical talents in the entire NFL draft. That is left tackle from Tulsa, Tyler Smith. The 6'5", 330 pound tackle has the potential to become the NFL's best offensive lineman. That is the type of skill set that this guy has. He is big, he is wide, he is violent in his hands, and he is super explosive. Maybe the most explosive player in the entire draft. And the fact he is one of the youngest players in this draft just tells me that he has so much more room to continue to get better. With that being said, I'm super excited to break this guy down. Let's just jump right into the tape. Now look, Smith is definitely one of my favorite players in this draft, but he isn't a perfect prospect yet. He has some flaws, and although they're minor and correctable, we will break down some of those issues a little bit later on. However, if this is the first time you're coming across this channel, please consider subscribing. It definitely helps the channel grow. But with that, let's get into it. Easily Smith's best trait is his run blocking, and that is where we're going to start. He had the most big time blocks in college football last year, according to Pro Football Focus. And when you watch his tape, you see that he has a ton of big time blocks over and over and over and over again. He just puts people down. Rather, he's pancaking someone, rather, he's tossing someone. But more than that, if needed, he can just seal off the lane for his running back. He just makes the correct block. Take this play as an example. Now, on this play, you guys are going to see that Tyler Smith is going to have the responsibility of hooking either the defensive end, if not the defensive end, then the linebacker. And he does a great job and he opens the lane up for the running back. Smith has a great knack for run blocking. And on this play, look at how he's able to just seal the edge and allow the running back to just hit that gap and pick up a ton of yards. You see it a little bit better from the wide angle. Smith is going to take that lateral step to his left, and he's going to just get out wide and just seal it off. He gets his butt turned around, which gives the running back a nice lane, and he picks up a big amount of yardage on this play right here. Now on this next play, something very similar. They're gonna run this to the seven gap to the outside of Smith, and Smith just seals it off perfectly. Not only does he take his guy five yards backwards, but he seals the guy who, who is currently lined up on the outside of Smith. Smith is going to hook number 47 and allow the running back that lane. Smith's ability to seal off and dominate in the run game really separates him over everybody else, and he is a dominant football player. Now shifting focus to Tyler Smith's pass blocking abilities, Look, the guy is violent. His playing style is very physical, and he has the size and power to impose his will. He generates great torque when he is pass blocking, and he is a little raw still, and I think his technique could be shored up just a little bit. Now keep in mind, he is one of the youngest players coming out of the draft, and on top of that, he wins 95% of his reps. The other five could be written off to things that could be coached in the league, but I do want to spend some time going over some of those issues. Let's just jump into some of the pass blocking flaws. On this first play, you're going to see a blitzing corner that Smith does not process and pick up. Tyler Smith's going to step out vertically to his left, as is the left guard. Now you have a defensive end that the two are responsible for, but you also have a blitzing slot cornerback. And Tyler Smith's responsibility on this play is to get to that blitzing corner. Now here's the thing. As the play begins, you're going to see Tyler Smith doesn't even see that corner coming, or he processes it way too late. Instead of going out to the corner, he's going to come down on the defensive end who is going to the inside on purpose. See, as a defensive coach, what you're going to teach your defensive end to do in this play is to go to the inside, force that left tackle to come with you, which is exactly what happens. Now on this play, Smith is going to block down, but he should have just kicked out vertically and picked up the blitzing slot corner. And because Smith does not get there, you see that the quarterback gets rushed and takes a hit and just barely gets the ball out. Processing is a big part of playing offensive line. Smith sometimes does not see things. On this play, you're going to see this defensive end end up coming to the inside. Number 41 is going to kind of delay, but then come towards the quarterback. What looks to be a delayed blitz. As the play begins, you're going to see Tyler Smith do a good job on number 21. But at this point, look at number 41 who ends up going unblocked. Smith should have picked that up, and that guy ends up smacking the quarterback. It almost feels like these teams are kind of running guys to the inside towards Smith and trying to mess with Tyler Smith because maybe he doesn't process things correctly. But these are some of the small little issues and small little things I need him to correct at the next level. Now, for the most part, his technique is okay, but this next play is an example of an issue that I have 
with his technique. And I've seen a couple of these type of plays where he gets out of his stance and it just looks kind of weird. On this next play, you're going to see Smith get out of his stance. He's going to try getting vertical, but he takes this weird step. And I don't know if it's because there's a guy lined up in front of him, but he takes a step with his left foot upwards. And ultimately he gets beat on this rep. It doesn't actually matter because the quarterback gets hit from the opposite end. But had the quarterback held onto the ball just a little bit longer, Smith loses this rep and that defensive end would have got to the quarterback. Now look, some of these issues that I brought up in his pass blocking, the technique, the processing are 100% correctable. And as he ages, as he gets smarter, stronger, faster, quicker, he's only going to get better. And I have no doubt in my mind that Tyler Smith may end up being the best offensive tackle in this draft class. I'm excited to kind of see how this offensive line coach with this new team is going to get the best out of him. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, thumbs up, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time with another video.